Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. My name is Nick and today guys we're jumping down into the world of VeChain, taking a look at what's been going on most recently and what I would expect to happen next. As I get into this video, if you find it useful and informative, hit the like button. I really do appreciate that if you happen to be new to the channel, then why not go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. Now if you have not yet joined us in Discord, the link is in the description down below. It's a fantastic fantastic community talking crypto 24 7 it's completely free and i don't think you'll be disappointed by what you find down there so why not go ahead and check that out today and in the description down below you'll also find links to our patreon services as well as the new cheeky podcast the new cheeky podcast is a fantastic way of staying up to date with everything crypto on your everyday commute why not check that out if you uh, want to stay up to date with everything uh, and you know not have to listen to, to boring music on your daily commute and also the patreon services within our discord server you get access to things like buying and selling signals, staking alerts, um, trading, project reviews, AMAs twice weekly with Chris and myself, and a whole host of additional benefits. Uh, you know, why not check that out if that's your bag? Okay, let's waste no more time though. Let's jump into this, right? So VeChain paired up with USDT on the hourly chart. Binance is the data source. And there's a lot of stuff going on here. Actually, our analysis on on VeChain hasn't changed much at all, to be brutally honest with you. We're still looking at this corrective pattern. Um, so I say corrective pattern as in, you know, this move to the upside here. This is a zigzag pattern and we have a five wave drop to the downside. Now it is possible, of course, that this is not a five wave drop. Um, and, you know, that's invalidated if we go up higher uh, than uh, 2.672 cent, okay? Um, but, you know, I'm not expecting that, to be brutally honest with you. I think that's far too high um, for the, the, the momentum behind the price. I don't think we have the momentum to do that. Um, so what I'm going to do is, first of all, though, is actually I'm going to shoot on up into our eight-hour chart here because what I want to talk about is the descent here, what's going on, uh, all these kind of movements and stuff, okay? So uh, essentially, it looks like we have uh, completed a fourth wave move up here which is that 535 structure and then we're looking to kind of come down into these lower ranges okay um now all of this is corrective uh or, or say it's a basically a corrective pattern all the way from the top here um but of course you know our all-time high uh was all the way back over here as well so we've been in this corrective state for quite some time for v chain uh, we can zoom out here you can kind of see all the way from April 2021, right? We moved down, we moved up. Um, and essentially, it was a lot of overlap, a lot of corrective patterns until we start to see this real big surge to the downside. Now, what's really important about this is this significant bounce upwards here. Uh, this is pretty much when Bitcoin, I think, was at 32 and surged up to 48. Um, and then obviously the pullback from here. So you look at this as an entire three-wave structural drop to the downside. Um, and, you know, I think that's probably the best way of actually taking a look at it. So we take this low point, we take this high point and then we just go ahead and move it over into this high here and you can see that this basically takes us down to this little yellow box area right down here and this is basically a one-to-one -one ratio coming in at about 1.9 cent okay so it's important that we understand that there's a big three wave drop uh, on the macro scale and then obviously when we jump into the micro scale i think we've actually got a zigzag in the first part and potentially uh, a zigzag or five wave drop over here so i think essentially it's either going to be a three 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 or a three three five okay and it's the five wave drop that i'm really interested in tracking specifically down in this lower section so i just wanted to kind of give, make sure everyone was fully aware of all of these kind of movements that we've been tracking here and uh, what they mean because essentially this here is our fourth wave move and all of this is our final fifth wave coming down okay and um, so again like we've spoken about with bitcoin and many others we are up in this kind of fourth wave correction right here we are setting ourselves with these higher lows and uh, actually in this case or uh, well i guess over this side we had these higher highs um yeah all this is really weak analysis i don't like these things because they, they aren't exactly telling you a very good story essentially what you actually had here uh, was a triangular weight wedge shape pattern instead which could have been an Elliott wave triangle and then we broke down from it okay so typical of a wave forward to be fair um but essentially that's kind of what we're looking at Okay, so I don't rely on things like, you know, MACDs, which are lagging indicators, and I don't rely on uh, moving averages at all. I mean, I like to do them for the macro moves just to kind of make see how they kind of correlate a little bit. But, um, you know, that's about it. Um, you know, support and resistance are very important. Um, but trend lines, not so much. Uh, not a big fan of trend lines. But what we're going to do is um, is basically now review, right? If that is our wave four and we're dropping into a wave five, what are our expectations of a wave five? Well, our expectations are 
a five wave drop, right? We're expecting a five wave drop inside our fifth wave. Okay, however, we've got to understand that there's different degrees. Okay, and what I mean by degrees are the sub wave counts of the wave itself. Okay, so um, on that note, um, we are taking uh, this ever extended third wave. That's exactly where we are. Okay, cool. So um, inside our uh, our fifth wave down, okay, we have a wave one, a wave two, a wave three, I don't think is done, and then a wave four and five, okay, um, something to this effect. Now, our wave three is overextending, and what I mean by overextending is it in itself has a five wave move, and those five, and that five wave structural move has in it a five three five three five structure okay which basically means you've got all of these different degrees happening inside our way three um it is very much an overextension of what you would normally expect this means that our uh, standard expectations of a wave um a wave five are being overextended and down okay so what we need to talk about is what are our expectations of this next leg to the downside okay um and how do we kind of get there now looking at it it's possible actually yeah i'd say it's actually possible that we've done that we've completed this actually down here uh, at two cent and then we've done the zigzag moving up into our wave four i think that's the most probable scenario meaning that we actually are pulling down into our fifth wave afterwards okay and it's the fifth wave that's now also tracking with a five three five three five um a pattern okay so um you know what no actually no i'm right the first time around uh i think actually looking at it we haven't actually completed uh, a sub wave count fully yet which means we've got deeper to go um so just looking at it we've got a five wave drop here uh we've got a three wave move up a five wave drop a three wave move up we've still got to have a five wave drop coming down um it's possible that it's completed and i'm just over exaggerating this a little bit um so you know it, it is possible that i'm just over exaggerating ever so slightly but uh yeah maybe, maybe i'll leave it there for now and we'll reanalyze that in the future if we need to if things start to really you know ramp up now invalidation um of any of these kind of further downsided moves coming down here at 2.809 so you can see here that our zigzag pattern got to 2672 uh, or 2.672 cent um and if we were to somehow you know move up to 2.809 cent it basically means that we are not having this fifth wave coming on down now the expectations of this fifth wave coming down okay we grab hold of this uh are down here between 1.676 cent or this little yellow box here and uh 1.871 cent however we've got a five wave drop and a three wave move upwards which means we might have an overextension within our fifth wave okay basically meaning that this is a wave one this is a wave two we drop down into wave three four and then five so it could possibly come down a little bit lower but really we're splitting the hair at this point and essentially you know this is really a good accumulation zone in my opinion on the this next kind of drop to the downside where i'm expecting to drop down lower than two cent okay essentially that is kind of where i'm thinking our bottom of our v chain market is likely to be now when i bring the stochastic rsi uh, up into play here you can see that we're oversold on this hourly chart potential move up a little bit maybe uh, with the rest of the market as it looks to kind of finish that move upwards um, but on the four hourly we're overbought on the eight hourly we're overbought on the daily we're overbought so essentially a drop to the downside is highly likely um, and you know in my opinion we should be then looking to finish Finish this fifth wave um if we move up higher than um then 2.672 cent then it's possible that our wave four hasn't finished but wave four is not allowed to cross wave one and therefore we cannot cross at uh, 2.809 sent on this structure of course it can cross that and go up a little bit higher if this is of course an extended way three um, but that is pushing the boundaries ever so slightly in my opinion so um be cautious on this one a little bit uh, i don't think the bottom is necessarily in um but it is possible that it is but i don't think so i think we've still got this fourth wave here with this corrective structure um, and obviously with the overlap here that is confirmed as a structural move um so i would be looking at more downside action i think the stochastic rsi is also indicating more room to the downside than to the upside um so essentially that is where my mind is at i think that the wave counts are indicating downward price action pretty much for uh majority of coins bitcoin ethereum uh, most altcoins are also a little bit of surge to the upside has been had but you know that's crazy fomo in my opinion um and there isn't really good reason or good cause for it to be fair so 
look to complete this pattern and then we look to kind of pull back down in my opinion to this lower side here where i then do see reversal coming in a, a really strong way so guys i'm going to leave the video there if you have found this useful and informative hit the like button i really do appreciate that if you happen to be new to the channel then why not go ahead and subscribe tap the bell select all notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at cheeky crypto and also just note that i'm not a financial advisor i cannot give you financial advice all i can do is give you our thoughts and opinions on the data in the charts as i see it um, you absolutely should not buy or sell or trade or do anything uh, or based on the information that i've provided you in this video it should be educational purposes only and of course you know you should absolutely do your own research come to your own financial conclusions and consult your own financial advisor if you have one guys with all that said done and out of the way i hope everyone has a fantastic day and i'll catch you all in the next one